Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, this is Jeff, and that's Jerry Lee. And uh, Jerry Lee's actually going to drive today. I am. I'm driving. So I'm going to just sit here and be quiet. Well, you, can <laughs> you can chip in sometimes. <laughs> okay, wait. So Jerry Lee, on the right-hand side of the screen, you got the comments button up there at the top. Oh, dude, you're killing me dead. Oh, yeah. hey, oh. everybody. We're learning how to use StreamYard, too. So this is going to be Hello. fun. Hello. Oh, Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Marla. So if, if you click on their name, it pulls it up on the screen. Oh, cool. See, the things that I'm learning. Hi, Carol. Hi, hi, Kathleen. I guess I'm, am I supposed to be? Okay, here. There's see, yeah, Mar click on them. There oh. you go. Hey, Letty, how's it going? Okay, then we've got, let's see. Oh, wait. Frank, okay. yep, that would be Frank. We are, yes, I'm learning, y'all. This is like, <laughs> okay, now that I've done one, we're going to do everybody. It's only fair, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to get everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm so glad you guys are here. It's going to be fun tonight. I mean, it's fun every time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's see. Hi, Candace. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Okay, Bevy Jean. Okay, yeah, we're having a good time out here. Okay, great. Okay, and then how, Jeff, how do I make it stop that? So you click on it, like I just clicked on Carol, and then you click on it again, and that stops it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Fancy. yay. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, all right. Oh, it's so appropriate. XO over my shoulder. <laughs> hey, you, what are you doing? Oh, man, you're tripping me out hard. Okay. I had to move myself into the shotgun position. I'm I'm oh, I'm in the back seat. <laughs> Hi, you guys. This is Jerry Lee Madeiras, um, out here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. How, how are you guys doing? It's good to see you. So wait, and you have to say this is Jerry Lee Madeiras, and that's Jeff Fuller, and we're both with the Embroidery Nerd. Yeah. And I run a company called Sunfacer Duct Tape. I run a company called that. You run a company called okay. So he runs a company called this. Called, oh, you got, uh oh, you got my thing. Well, we have all kinds of stuff going on tonight. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do run a company called Sunfacer Manufacturing and Supplies. So, what I want to talk to you tonight, why am I echoing? Oh, let me fix that. Oh, thank you. You're tripping me again, man. You're trying to kill me tonight. Okay, so. Oh, that's what that's about. Okay, so, all right, so here's the thing. This multi-streaming your income today is not going to be about like networking or something. I mean, what well, kind of, but it's gonna be way different than what you guys were expecting, all right? So, yes, there's embroidery involved in a whole lot of it, but it's gonna be very different. That's why I said out of the box, I'm not joking. <laughs> Okay, so the reason that I wanted to do this, this particular topic is because we've gone through some rough times and, and it's not just this time. It's like way back in the day, way, you know, in our grandparents' times, we were, what, what was there? There was like polio or there was, you know, in the 30s, there was a the depression, there, so on and so forth. And most recently, before, before the Rona here, what I recall is in 2008, we had a huge recession. And at that point, 30% of embroiderers lost their businesses, 30%. And that's because that people either didn't have the money or they had it, but now they weren't spending it. I was um, really heavily involved in the interior design world at that time. And people are very, 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 very rich, some of these guys. They can afford to keep decorating their homes and to keep putting the leading edges on all their brocade. They can do all those things, right? Okay, but even then, guess what? The that particular industry also took a dive. So even when you think you're secure, you're not, no matter what. So I think that that's really important. And that's why 30% of embroiderers shut their door, is, is, is that was a huge contributor. 
all right, was the recession. People didn't have the money. People were losing their homes. What's going to come first? It isn't going to be an embroidered shirt, all right, even though I think that embroidery has a place in almost every circumstance. If, you, if the people who you are marketing to or who are your customers are not able to buy your product anymore, you no longer have a customer base. So you don't want to put all your people in one basket, right? Right. Okay, so that's why to me this topic is really important. So um, let's see. So based on my experience in 2008, I personally lost my home. I lost my car. I lost 75% of my personal belongings, <laughs> okay, because uh, we had to move. It, the um, house that we were renting was actually foreclosed on, and I, we were renting from a screen printing, from some people who owned a screen printing shop, and they also owned a, owned a printing shop that did, like, brochures and banners. I mean, a whole lot of stuff. I was near Phoenix, and unbeknownst to us, the renters, they shut their doors. We didn't know, but they had no longer been able to afford their payments on all of their equipment. They did DGT printing with Big Brother machines and they fled, they hit the road and they went to California. So we got eviction notice on the house that we had been paying rent on. And you know, we had to go, but we had to go now. <laughs> so we also were experiencing some hard times so that meant that we couldn't take everything where we had to go and we couldn't afford to store it. So that's how things just went poof. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is what happened though, is we kept the business afloat. The business always was afloat and it doesn't matter what the malady is out there, or maybe you just want to do more than embroidery. I won't say just embroidery because it's not just embroidery, but uh, maybe you want to do more than that. And maybe you want to multi-stream your income for different reasons. For me, I like to multi-stream it for a few reasons. One is I get bored quickly. I just do. It's just something I like to um, be active in a lot of different things and like have a lot of creativity going on and a lot of color. And I can't always do that. Um, number two, I currently don't, I used to be a digitizer and I used to embroider and I, and my main gig was digitizing. That's all I did for years and years and years. And that's why I was in the, uh, in the industry that I was, is I managed to get there. So. Wait, are you still in that industry? Well, I can be, I mean, I can digitize there anytime I want, but I only, I only digitize for one person and that's Michael Savoya of Villa Savoya Inc. Um, he is now in Rhode Island, which is near Suzanne. Um, his, he went and taught at uh, Rhode Island School of Design. So, yes, I agree. I agree uh, very much. Diversification is not suffocation by one thing. I so agree with that because I don't, I can't run an embroidery machine constantly. I can't do it. I will go out of my mind with boredom. Just the same thing, same thing, same thing. That is not me. Um, so that's why I never took that route. That's why I digitized. Well, currently I don't have an embroidery machine. I haven't for a while. So what I do have is something different. And also I don't have that particular software. I had a Tajima and I had Pulse. I no longer have either of those items. Um, and that's, and because Just I wait till you come to my house and we put oh. you on a machine again. <laughs> I know it's going to be, it's going to be a problem because I'm going to run right out and buy one like right now somewhere. <laughs> so, so, you know, I mean, I do have my eye on a few. I, so. I hear they have trade show specials. Well, you know, I hear that we're going to be at a trade show actually next, uh, next week. I, I heard that too. I think it's a, uh, it's a rumor, but I'm going to grab a comment here, Jerry Lee. Cause you yeah. got When you see the comments, you got to click on them. Well, I so, see diverse. Oh, okay. That was, says, oh, oh, exactly I'm sorry. What we did. We added laser engraving and DTG printing. Yes, yes, Chris. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't. You know what? My little highlighter was over that, and so I know. Again, folks, 
learning to steer this particular boat. <laughs> so exactly, that's exactly what you need to do. Lady um, added white toner printing. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna throw all the comments at you. I hope you do because see now that's great. Now white toner printing for a long, long, long time that was not available. That was very, very, very difficult. You could get everything but white. You, you just couldn't print on dark shirts. Everything was on a white shirt or a light fabric. And now that's, but what you've now done is brought something out that, um, Letty, that isn't, that most people don't have. And for you, Chris, what you did too is the engraving and DGT printing, you've done the same. You know in your market that that's needed. That is absolutely needed. So here, and that brings us to another point. First of all, sometimes people, think that, well, you know, I don't know, I, I do this embroidery, can I do what, I mean, I don't know, can I do more? I mean, this is what I do. Well, here's the thing. If you're in business, which you are, you wouldn't be here. You're already doing the thing. You're already really good at what you do. It's already happening for you. You can take it further. You know so much more than you know you do. You have so much more up here than you know. So we're going to stretch that. So that's what I want to do tonight is to give you um, opportunity and some ideas. And like I said, some are woo, okay? But that's okay because you just never know who you're going to interest with those comments. All right. So um, the first thing I do want to address, okay, so so is there anything out there? Oh, and I do, I do want to tell you right now, I do have actually two softwares. I do have um, Hatch. And I do have in brilliance. Okay. And I like those both. So I, I didn't leave digitizing or anything like that. I just, you know, segued over here for a minute. So basically what I do is I manufacture tools and supplies and different items like that for the embroidery industry, but I'm breaking out of that and piercing some other markets. Yes, that actually it's coming. <laughs> okay, so there is some things though, because I don't have this multi-screen gig that my man here has here. All right. Whoops. So what I did is I actually. <laughs> okay. So it helps to have more than one screen. I'm just saying. Oh, let me. Well, let me tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm pet sitting. Okay, which I've told you guys. I think I am pet sitting. So uh, before this trip to Texas, and so I. Today, I needed to print some stuff out, so I actually brought my printer over here. It's like not small, but so I've got 3D printer over here. What else do I have? I have all my donut making kits. I have, oh my gosh. I mean, like I basically moved into the whole dining kitchen area. It's a blast. I've got my printer. I've got things going right and left. So I'm having a good time. So, but what I did is I went out there and I wanted to show you guys some things that I know for a fact work out there. All right. So, and does it, okay. Now just remember, just let's let, I want to preface this again. All right. You can multi-stream your income. What I'm talking about is when it's tough. All right. You've got to keep your doors open period. The end people do go down. Lots of embroidery shops go down. There's a few reasons. One is they don't multi-stream an income. All right no diversity. If there's no diversity in your shop, you're going to have a little problem. You can't always make it with all your chickens in one bag, all your eggs in one basket. You know, you can't just do one thing unless you do that one thing very, very, very well. And you're the only one who does that. Except in embroidery, that's just not the case. There's a lot of people who do it very well. What else is there? A lot of people who do it really not well at all. All right. There's the people out there who think it's really easy. You scan something into a machine and it poops out a um, what like a design. Right. I'm pretty and, sure that's how it works. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you yeah. Just, you shove this over there and you yeah. <laughs> click two buttons and all of a sudden yeah. money's printing off the machine. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. It is amazing. You just sit around and eat bonbons all day. I mean, you know, we all know that self-employment is the easiest thing there ever was. No stress. Right? You know, shirts hoop themselves too. They do. <laughs> it, it, it's a myth. They, they do it. I know. They'll do anything for you while you sit back and just watch and, and play around, you know, play video. Because that's what self-employment is about, right? I, um, <laughs> and I, see, now you got a question. Chris wants to know which two buttons do you press to make the money come out? <laughs> 
while the one that says fake money paper and the other one that says fake money ink on that DGT. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the invoice customer and process payment. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes, that's the one, but you have- Those to are the two I hit all the time. Invoice, process. <laughs> There's only one problem with that. They actually want something. Yeah, I've noticed that. Most, pe most people want something for their money. It's kind of crazy. I know. It's weird, isn't it? Very strange. See, and Letty just tells you, just turn on the machine and set a shirt <laughs> under it. It does the rest. Stabilizer, we don't need no stinking stabilizer. We don't need no stinking stabilizer at all, man. <laughs> we don't need nothing. We don't even go out into the garage or anywhere. We, we don't work. <laughs> it, it all comes in that startup kit they sell you with the machine. <laughs> yeah. You never have to replace any other supplies. <laughs> Ever. Thread spools, they just Threads. regenerate thread. Nothing. But <laughs> yeah, that's what they like to, that's how the sales go. You know, like there's there's some companies that market incredibly well and that will leave you hanging when you least can afford to hang. So that's just a little segue over to when you buy whatever it is you're buying, you want to make sure what you want to make sure that you're not only remembering that you're buying that embroidery machine, but you're buying the company behind it. Yeah. yeah. And I think that there's a lot to be said that you go, you, it's really important to do your research on things yeah. before you buy it yeah. as somebody who may or may not have been and is currently a, uh, impulse buyer. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it can really, uh, it can really cause problems later if you buy something and then you try to um, figure out how to work it. Exactly. Exactly. And here's Eric with a really good comment. If you make X amount of hats each month, everything's paid for. You cover your cost, instant success. <laughs> yes. I mean, you don't even have to find people to buy the hats. You just make oh them, money comes in. I know it. Isn't that terrible? And here so. Frank says, what do you do with your mistakes? Sure, it's Jeff has none of those. I was thinking about a flea market for, okay. Now that's an inch, okay, so. So see, you guys don't see, you don't see the failures. <laughs> Everybody hides the failures. It's like, mm, no, you see the good stuff. So like one of the things that I like to do with mistake shirts, because we're, we're talking about multi-streaming, right? Is yeah. I like to take them and I like to either throw a patch over them uh, applique over them. Um, I, I may or may not have cut stitches all the way out of them and, or just, you know, you can cut them up and use them as test swatches for your machines, uh, to test yes. different designs on that. <laughs> and then, and then actually if you can market it, and this is something I do want to say that, that, that is, it's just an honest comment. Um, people want to buy things. Okay. And here's the deal. If we don't figure out what that is, because you have to convince them to buy your things. Well, you have to give them a reason. And here's the deal. Self-employment means you generate your own self food. You know, I mean, you've got to feed yourself. Hello. I don't know. I don't generate yes. my own food. <laughs> I buy it from the grocery store. Well, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> right, right. Oh my God. I, I totally didn't come in here to give you a hard time, but I mean, I'm yeah, giving you a hard did. time. I'm positive of it. I, I, yeah, mm. you wait, I'll be there. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so okay. for everybody here, if you don't see me at Fort Worth in Vega yeah. investigators, please check Jerry Lee. <laughs> I'm Coolers in the back of the truck. Yeah. It's, you'll be in the trailer. actually. <laughs> see, now you just told them. That's it's right. Done. So I'm going to grab a comment here. We have a comment Okay. with you guys being in the embroidery game so long, what machine manufacturers would you recommend? So believe it or not, I have not been in the embroidery industry nearly as long as somebody over there. True. Or some of the people in the comments. Um, but I have that machine. What is that machine? It's the one over my shoulder. Exactly. Um, happy. <laughs> It, it is a happy. So um, really like when it came down to picking a machine, I looked at the, I looked at the machines. Um, I highly recommend pricing all of the machines. Don't just go to a brand that you think that you can afford price them all because you'll yeah. be surprised at how close they are actually in comparison with price. And don't get a crap machine. Don't settle because, well, I just wanted ah, to do this. Terry Lee, I'm going to throw 
Crap is an okay word. Yeah. Check Jerry Lee's trailer. <laughs> In a minute. Crap is not an okay word. Check your trailer. Thank you. yeah, okay. We have to keep it PG. Adam's going to watch this later. Oh, doesn't he know that word? Sorry, Adam. Okay. I'm a great... Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he knows <laughs> that one and so many more when I'm okay. sitting at the machine. Well, don't be an empty right. machine that, you know, it's like some cheap thing because you just say you justify it in some way. Well, I want one right now. Don't do that. You want to look at the machine. You want to look at the resale value. You want to look at the, the how many are going back because they are... Really, you want to look at the resale value. I'm not going to lie. So I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Look at the resale value of the machines because yep. what happens if you invest in a machine and you determine it's not right for you and you there's no it. value there on the machine on the secondary market? Yeah. You own, a, you own something that is like what? You've got a major boat anchor. Nobody else wants it either. You need huh. to not, it's not just great marketing. It's actually performance. Just remember, and I know that you know that. I think we might be preaching to the choir. I don't know, but everything that goes out of your shop is what? Out of your shop. It's got your name all over it. You want it to look great. You want to get the best bang for your buck, but you also want performance. So, and you need to make sure it works for you. So, yep. so there's that. So there, there that, are- that's our, that's our very sugar-coated way of saying, we're not going to specify any certain brand. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Well, well, you know, we really cannot because, um, well, okay. So I'm waiting for the machine to show up before I start endorsing stuff. <laughs> well, it kind of roll like that, doesn't it? Because when we, because yeah, no but product placement. We we do have, we do. Oh, I'm I'm like somehow in the rainbow of life here. I don't. Really I know. All right, so. Um, okay. I'm going to grab a couple of comments here. Uh, Chris says, I made that mistake when purchasing a Macoma when attempting to sell to upgrade hard to sell. Yep. So, you know, it just depends on, I, I definitely look at the resale value as well. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you, you also want a machine that, that that's going to do what you need it to do. And don't be afraid to sit there and pester salesmen. And yeah. I mean, pester them to do you all sorts of testing that. for you. You, can, you can throw job. popcorn at them and say, sew out this hat. Now sew out that hat. <laughs> yeah. When you buy a machine, when you and so I'm just going to do a, a reveal here, like full transparency. I was actually married to a technician for 20 years, and top technician in the country, in my personal opinion. But well, um, I mean, you were married to him, so he had to be the best. No, but no, but it wasn't even that. It was like I always said that even if I weren't married to this guy, I would always say that. And you know what? I I am saying it today. So. And, and so there was like, you know, the ones that are like really cheesy machines are the ones that say, it's just like the ones that I heard a lot was, it's just like a Tajima. No, it's not. Okay. Don't buy something. If they say it's just like a Baradin, it's just like a ZSK. It's just like a Tajima. It's just like a happy. No, they're not. Okay. Wait, hold on. Letty's dropping some knowledge here. Okay, so, let's hear it. And determine what you want that machine to do. Then try to put your hands on it if you can. Yes. Always get your hands on it. Shows are great for that. Yes, and then yes, here, yes. There are lots of people who do great things on almost every type of machine. But ultimately, yes. you're wanting and what meets that need. Always remember, yes. new isn't always best. Yes. Letty's dropping some knowledge here. There's some workhorses out there, some embroidery machines that I saw that were running paper tape still. That's I think Letty yeah. should jump in here and she should do this with you. Oh, here. Well, let's see what we got here. Let's see here. I researched for almost two years and bought a used machine, same brand as Jeff's, and it was the best thing I did, which is a happy. Okay, that's what you're, you've you got. Um, the other Campbell has arrived. Okay. You yes. Click on it. Yeah. There you go. The other yeah. Campbell has arrived. I hope everyone is safe and dry in the east side of the country. Yeah. They're flooding over there. Yes. Okay. This is just a one word. No. No, just no. Hold, please. <laughs> Where's that? Here, let me click on that and then do that. She has officially been invited. Officially been invited. That's and funny. I sent her a link. So. <laughs> okay, so now, I but, you know, okay, so I do want to talk about stream multi-streaming our income. Letty, get on in here, girl. I want to talk about multi-streaming our income, but for reals, because this is awfully fun. Okay, so, but there's, 
I'm just a rainbow. I can't help it. I just, I don't know. You have that fake mustache. I think you're trying to be somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the admin group chat is going to be on fire tonight. I can already tell oh everybody God. it's going to be great. Uh, Fred says, I rushed into the biz buying a used machine. It turned out to be so out of alignment that it took oh, two years wow. to fix. Two years later, Dude. I'm actually starting my biz now. Oh, hold on. Oh, come on. Come on. Letty, we need you to connect your mic and cam before I can add you to the stream. She's device here. Is not, I see that, but device is not connected. What exactly does that mean? That just she means she needs support? to turn on her microphone and her, and, and her mic camera. Does she have support or something? Or does she have a landline going? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Martin oh, says, oh, wow, it's crazy tonight. And Jenny's in the house. Oh, <laughs> uh, Letty says it's my phone, so nope. Letty, you can totally turn on your camera on your phone. I promise I won't embarrass you. Oh, do <laughs> <laughs> Letty, no, uh -uh. don't buy that crap. I mean, who? I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know. Okay, so I'm just going to be a rainbow no matter what. So okay. back to multi-streaming your oh my income, gosh. Gary Lee. We we went, like, in and I haven't even gotten past what kind of a friggin' machine. It's or that mustache. <laughs> <laughs> so let, 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 let's go ahead and talk here. Let, so um, what do you mean by multi-streaming your income? I think we lost Jerry Lee. One too many brownies tonight. Oh, um, me, dude, you are so killing me. All of a sudden, it's time to get serious. Oh, god, dead. Okay, I'm so dead. Okay, I do this every oh. week. Oh my god. Time to get serious. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I'd like to thank the 16 people in the audience that are still <laughs> hanging out with us today. We are going to get some information out to you, folks. I swear to God, we will. Okay. See, Mark oh. says, Jerry Lee has left the building. Love her. There, you have a fan. It's official. Martin, I hope you're coming to Texas. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Fenway here. Fenway, darling. <laughs> All right, so multi-streaming your income def definitely does not necessarily mean that you have to give up what you're doing. No. It, you're attempting to add on to the products and services that you already offer yes. because if you put all of your <laughs> everything into, let's say you're embroidering a hat and you put everything into embroidering you hats and that's all you do, what happens when there's a hat shortage? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well. <coughs> Jerry Lee. The problem is, is that people get really angry. I think you should let the dogs out. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go out and play ball. <laughs> All right. Sorry. So people get really angry. Okay. So people get really upset. Like there's a lot of chatter out there right now about, <laughs> oh my God, Fenway, you're killing me. Um, about <laughs> so anyway, there's a lot of chatter out right now. A lot of like really pissed off people about the, the caps. Okay. Why are they? Yes, they're that too. <laughs> Why are they upset? Why are they upset? Oh man. See Letty again. I think we just need to get her a webcam and a microphone. Set it You're up. Building more legs under your stool. I think I, you are. I, I think I like we're just going to, I'm going to be replaced. We should have the, it, the so Letty and Jerry. Tonight. And here, I love this one. <laughs> it's going down tonight. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, so here's what we got going on is that we are building more stools. So when like right now, all the hats, nobody's happy with that. So what's going to happen? What are they doing right now? They're actually bringing them in, but it's been pointed out several times. The price the jack that they just jacked it up by like, what, 25%? They're not going to drop it. Everybody I believe knows. it was like 30 something cents a hat. Well, how much is that though? I mean, I don't know what the wholesale is. Well, I don't know math. I just know no, I that it's more, <laughs> <laughs> it's more expensive now. And they sent me another email today that says it's going to be even more expensive later. Right. 
they're dra they're jacking it up, but they're never going to drop it. Okay. Because they'd be stupid to once they've already got people paying that squeeze, squeeze. Now we're going to go into a little chat about Richardson because I have been in this industry for a long time. Okay. It's not bad. You just need to calm down over there. Where's the mute button, Jeff? You, you know, I have a little R sitting over my shoulder. Jerry Lee can't see it. Oh. I've got a box of Richardson sitting behind me. Awesome. Well, I think they're great hats. And what makes them so great is the fact that what did they do? How did they capture the audience? How did they do that? They made their friggin' sweatband so that they don't go all into the brim and up the crown. Am I right? Am I right? They invented I, that's something. what I hear. I like this hat because it doesn't do that. It 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 also does not do that. And who's the maker? This one, it I'm not gonna. Mm -mm. What's the matter with you? Dry duck. Okay, okay. I had to make sure I pronounced it, that? enunciated that correctly because I messed that up one time, and I'm still hearing about it. Okay, well, we know what it is. All right, so, so let me talk to you about Richardson because there's this other cap maker out there that I know many of you know. I'm, I'm certain that Eric does, I know for a fact. Um, and that's Pacific Headwear. And anybody on the West Coast knows Pacific Headwear. Well, that's because they're close to the Pacific. No, it's because they're in the same stinking town as Richardson. And they make a hat that is really super... I super have a couple somewhere. Okay, so the guy that created Richardson, I mean, that had Richardson, the gentleman who owns Pacific Headwear used to be a salesman for Richardson in Eugene, Oregon, okay, which they're both located in to this day. So what happened was, is when he was a salesman, he thought that he could make a, I, I don't know if it was a better hat, but he could go into competition. So he did. And well, I'm I mean, right now. People are start. I've seen a few new hat brands pop up. Yeah, because Richard people aren't able to get right. Richardsons, and they're thinking, right. you know, why not me? Why can't I? Why do not me? Well, this guy's first name is Don, and when I met Don, he was in a storage unit in Richardson. I mean, excuse me, in Eugene. And he was Eugene. at their warehouse in the storage unit. No, no, they were <laughs> in a storage unit, and seriously, like in one of those "you rent me" storage units. They started in that he had a machine plugged in and he had a few cartons of his own hats. And that's where he started. That's when I met him. Now he has row after row after row after row after row of hats. And all they do of hats is, of hats, they 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 do row not, after row after row of machines. I'm, I'm sorry, of machines of like 18 head. The one that starts with the T. Um, the and 18 I, head T's. A. J, that one, the Taj. Um, anyway, of like like row after row of 18 had uh, those. He even brings in his own foam. Speaking of foam, okay. Okay, so what happened was Don found a need and then he filled it. And then he went head to head with Richardson. And he is an extremely, extremely major hat supplier in, our, in, in the United States and elsewhere today. He goes over, he gets his own his own foam, he goes overseas, everything, anything. Okay, oh, wondering why he has so many rows of hats. Who's that? You said he has row after row after row of oh. hats. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> yes, I know. We're all we're all gonna, you know. No, I've gotten that one now, you, I know. Well, like you know, I said, when I pronounced the name of this, I had to pause and take yes. a minute because I knew I wasn't gonna live it down if I said it wrong. I, I hear you. Well, so <laughs> what, 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 one of the things that Don and, and Pacific Headwear got famous for was Puff Foam. Puff Foam came out, let's see, how long have I been in this industry? Um, I don't think that, uh, Jerry Lee is only 29 years old. And That's anybody awesome. that tells you otherwise. Is, is, is telling you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I, but it's like I, 20 years ago, this guy was doing puff foam. Okay. 22 years ago, he was doing puff. And this is where, when people were just trying to. Don't, uh, no, don't, no, it's Matt. Don't. I am not going to go there, but you can put that on the screen. This is what he's trying to say. Yes. Dry duck. There you go. Yes. You actually mispronounced that. Duck. No. The oh whole Yeah. I did not say duck ones. I wish I'd have been here. 
You're right. I can see why you're never going to live that. Matt and Justin have not let me live it down. I'm very, very cautious now. Anytime I have to pause. With good reason if you're asking me, which you're not, but I'm telling you. So, <laughs> all right. So now Don, with all of his rows of machines that are lined with hats on all 18 heads of all those rows. So rows of hats on machines. Wait, so wait a minute. They're 18 head machines? Yes. How? What's the most amount of heads a machine can have? So far, the biggest one I know in this country is 20, but that but that doesn't mean that's the biggest one. That means that's the biggest one I know of in our country. I um, wonder if a 20 head machine fits in one container. Oh, wow. That's an because interesting. Because they have to ship them like <coughs> in one container. <laughs> Just see. Uh -huh. So Eric says, after hours, we all pronounce things differently. Oh, yep. yes. yes, I know. Well, you know, he's, you know, this one over here doesn't drink at all. So I'm going to have to do it for him, but not, I don't drink either. So. <laughs> I, guess that leaves, I guess that leaves Matthew and Justin. Okay. So now what I want to say though, is, is that Don got into like really heavily into puff foam. Okay. So <clears throat> puff foam has been quite the, it's, it's something that is really stepping out in some really big ways now. Oh, darn it. I forgot to bring that hat by Joseph. Do you have Joseph's hat, please? Where's Joseph's hat, please? Just wait till I catch you. Yes. Can you turn its lies, eyes on? Well, now you're asking for extra things. I am. That's right. I want that too. Yeah, see? Okay. Joseph, as you know, this is one of my favorite hats. Yes, Joseph. It, it you know, yeah, nobody knew who this dude was until he started popping out with work like that. Now he's got his own. Where is he? He's down in the Philippines, and just he, so you know, Jerry Lee, you have. Uh, oh, I thought that was a bone of ham. It's not. It's a wine glass. Never mind. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have a bone of ham in your uh, <laughs> in your coffee mug. All right, so that's right. They okay. break them down by like four or five head units. I oh, okay. I didn't know. Okay. That's and cool. that hat is so awesome. I totally oh, agree. Joseph is, his puff is something else. If you man. had the chance to experience it in person, <laughs> in person, it's it's cool to see pictures on the internet, but when you actually hold it in your hand, it's a whole nother thing. It's crazy. And they're stacked. Like how many, how many is that stacked up? How many stacks of foam does that guy have on there? I don't know. That would be a good question for him. Well, why don't you look at it, <laughs> just look at the friggin' hat? See, Fred's got beer. He's gonna drink for all of us. And okay. uh, Chris, that's a pretty sweet hat. It, it is. is really, but I it's, would say, yeah. like, if there's I had to guess, I'd say there's six layers. Six layers. Okay. Five or six. But yes. You know, it it depends. Like, I don't know. Some machines have a hard limit on how high you can go, and I don't know what Thank machines you. he has and how tall it is. And like whether or not it's one millimeter foam, two millimeter foam, five millimeter foam, eight and a half millimeter foam. Ah, mm, we're gonna have to find out. Well, we, so we went down the rabbit hole, Jerry Lee. You opened the we door. We really did. So, <laughs> oh, four or five layers. Okay, is what Justin says. Okay, so when Don came up with all that foam, everything was just like flat. And then, and back then, we were all embroidering on like if you had orange thread then you would use orange foam well don got real like you know on and on and on whatever it was don got real sick of that crap and so he went over to i'm not sure which country it is it's um not this country he went wherever they they make i just don't know which one it is but he came back with two ones two colors time that, zones black and white the end and they digitize only for that 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 that's all okay so now moving on to foam it has become quite the art form as you can see um from what joseph is doing and from what jeff does and from what justin does and from what you know uh, many many people i only do foam to give justin a hard time well but you're good at giving him a hard time <laughs> and justin is a madman with foam and you probably know that so now multi-streaming your income we're going to move away from this now justin is the digitizer okay so he works his butt off making designs he makes designs for other people he does designs for a group and he had and he really they got into this puff off they got into all you know these boys 
You know what they do? They go out there and they do things. You can't they, leave us alone in the city. Never. It's gonna be, Texas is going to be nuts because you can't oh leave us God. all in a room together. Oh, my God. All four of us. Holy <laughs> cow. So I'm coming in from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I'm 99 miles from Canada. Jeff is in dead center of Iowa. Nope. <laughs> Just kidding. You're right. Fibber. I've looked. And then um, Justin is in Tucson. And then Matthew is in Nebraska. All right. It's official. From now on, when Justin and Matt come on here, they have to say their states just like that. Just like it. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so we're all going to converge. And so it's almost scary. Okay. Rich Peace has a 56 head four needle. Dude. Rich Peace. Now, Rich Peace is who came out and invented the USB drive that people have now. The first ones were on my machine, testing them. They were tested like at first they didn't work too well at all. And then I'm they pretty sure that if it was up to the embroidery uh, companies, we'd still be using paper tapes. Oh, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Rich piece was uh, freaking amazing. So anyway, this is the tool that we're going to talk about now. This is what Justin invented. And here's why. He is multi-streaming his income. This is the 3D puff tool. All right. I have a prototype. Yes, you do. In fact, you're going to get another one that um, has lettering on it. I'm bringing those to the show. But anyway, what happened was is in all this puff stuff that these guys were doing, Justin thought that there was a better way to get something done. So he explained it to Jeff, who created a hammered. Yes. <laughs> First prototype. Yes. It's very little. Okay, very small. It's and not, he hammered it out. It fits my it hand perfect. just like the internet. Yeah. And so Justin thought that it could be there could be something done. And so he he came up with an idea. Jeff pounded one out like that. Um, Matthew drew the schematics. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I took it to my people who make my needle eases. Okay. And they made this one. And that one too. Oh, you're yeah. so funny. Yeah. I, these are literally they they live at my um desk and I they like every live I sit here and I run my fingers up and down the knurling. So I have the one that I have, everybody, so I have four of them. I watched them um be be created. Um I worked really closely on getting this one done, and this bar. Was, it's not on the first one. The first one that I got that is like kind of hacked up here a little bit, it's like really thick and not like fine pointed. It's knurled all the way down. It's real weird feeling, but it's fun. <laughs> you got Why your Why didn't I get that one? Because you're getting one that has printing on it. No, no, I want that. No, 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 no. I did that because I, because we'll talk now. Oh my God, I should have never said it. <laughs> <laughs> so yes it does double as a fidget too but what this does is this is dull okay so basically i'll explain this what this it, it, it's a tool to finish your 3d puff yeah to, to do that and so what happened with this is there was an idea born and justin saw this thing through okay everything that he couldn't get done he went out and found someone who could get it done now he will have residual income. Not only is he doing, um, uh, not only- They also work as chopsticks. Just in case you guys were wondering. You have to buy two. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, so not only does he do digitizing, okay, but sometimes that doesn't work. If somebody doesn't need designs, if the market goes soft, you know, you have other things because this can be used for other things. This can be used for a lot of finishing. Okay. A lot of finishing. Okay. So here you guys go. Pro tip. They are stainless steel. And if you heat them up, they change color. <sighs> don't, don't, don't take my word for it because that's not suggested by the manufacturer, but I may or may not have a purple one. Aha, uh -huh. we're gonna have to start watching what's in there. Let's I also watch I also you have to read it, Jerry Lee. I'm so uh, sorry. Go ahead. So as a machinist, that tool is at a great price and it works really well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so too. I think so too. 
Um, and Eric, I also fidget with everything and drop it too. And sometimes it goes on the floor and then I cry a little bit because I can't reach down and pick it up. <laughs> you need more than one or you need to attach a string to this doohick. And if you guys wonder, which you probably don't, but now I want, I'm going to have you look at it. But these grooves in here, the deeper they go, the more they kind of angle. That's intentional. I did that. I thought that was <laughs> <laughs> don't pat yourself on the back at all. I can. I will. Okay. So this is residual income for Justin. Okay. That's my point. He has more than one thing. This isn't going to be the only thing. All right. That he does. This isn't going to be it. This guy has more on the drawing board. All right. But I want to move away from, okay. So this is something you can find this on my site or his. He is at 3dpuffprotools.com. That will pop you right over to my site sunfacermfg.com okay because and just so you know justin will take those advertising credits whenever you have time <laughs> so okay so yes okay we'll take that okay so now some other things that i want to show you though in embroidery that i think is really important is okay i don't know the sun is setting okay so you have to face it I it's the rule. always face the sun it's except my except when you're in the show. shade it's my mock though. Okay, so in embroidery, because I don't want to just move everybody out of embroidery. That's not the point, but I am going to take you, like I said, outside the box. Okay, sometimes like people embroider on balsa wood, okay? Material isn't all that happens. My, my, my printer got unhappy, but this is balsa wood, and then they laid it down in a tray. What I'm saying is, is that you have to find, I know this is kind of an artsy craftsy, what, what, what. All right. Fred's dropping knowledge now too. <laughs> yes. Mr. Wonderful from Shark, from Shark Tank. One That's product right. does not make you a business. No, it doesn't. You have got to do whatever you have to do. And remember, what am I talking about? When times get tough, you better be able to swing. Okay. You have got to find your way. What that means is that you, if there's another market out there, you need to find what it is. You can't wait for someone to find it for you. All right. You've got to find it period. The end. So this now I might say, okay, so if the embroidery world goes and for whatever it won't, but you know, let's say that, that this thing right here, we could market this for a lot of other uses because we would find those uses. All right. This is steel chopsticks. Yeah. I'm just saying right now you need two of them. Stainless steel chopsticks. <laughs> Self-defense, baby. I actually use mine for a uh, seam ripper. Oh, that's interesting. Speaking of, I oh, that reminds me of something else. Okay, so now I want to show you something else. And we're going to move because, it, like, we're 49 minutes in. This is crazy. I but know. You got, like, a few 11 minutes, minutes left. Minutes or something. Okay. I had to do the math in my head. It was all right. Sad. Well, I'm going to go. So, all right. So, I want to show you something different. It's going to segue us right into something else. This is also embroidery. It's embroidery on balsa wood that has been put on wood rounds. They're saying you go to the store. A lot of us don't live by a store or we have a chainsaw or whatever, whatever, whatever. Am I right? <laughs> right. Go cut these suckers. And maybe you don't want to do the embroidery. Maybe what you want to do is... You want to market these things. People want these. You have to go find your market. That's what I'm saying. Outside the box. Doesn't mean we're staying in embroidery and we're going to embroider everything. That's not what it means. When Just embroidery because you can't make it yourself doesn't mean you can't find somebody to make it for you and you can right. still sell it. Right. How do you embroider on wood? Okay. What I'm going to do with these things, what you do. I would like to watch you do that, but not on my machine. Well, actually you do it on balsa wood. I know, but not on my machine. Well, I'm not going to do it on your. <laughs> yep, you got to read that one. Let's see it. All right. So basically, what I'm going to do, we don't have to read that. How's your words your mute button, Mister? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to. So just so you know, Jerry Lee, the mute button's right there, and I can mute you too. <laughs> ah, ah. I know exactly. I unmuted you. I know that. I know. Right. <laughs> okay. So, so here's the deal. I'm going to post this. Okay. I'm going to post information on that because again, 
like I used to do a lot of, <laughs> yeah, have one for me too, would you? Um, yeah, I'll take a shot from there too. Uh, I mean, you'll take a shot for me. But. All right. So you can do a lot of different things. Okay. I, I, now I'm going to keep going here because now. You know, the, I think Eric sold through tin. Yes, you can. You can. You can. Not you on can my machine. Tin. But I would like to see pictures of it. You're such a baby. But I am Jerry Lee. I'll do it on if your. If any of my machines manufacturers are watching here, I never sew anything that breaks the warranty. <laughs> okay, we won't do it when I am in your studio either at all. I used to sew on. Okay, I used to stitch on handmade paper. In fact, one of those was uh, one of the. Um, I, I made some of that. I did the cover of Stitches magazine in embroidery on handmade paper in the cover of the of their actually it's a defunct um it's a defunct magazine now but you know because they do do that but anyway i embroidered on handmade paper and it was actually the cover of the the industry magazines i mean so, you, wait you took the industry magazine and you put it on your machine and you embroidered the cover <laughs> he doesn't even drink okay so now we've segued over into going into the wood we're, i'm just trying to i'm just trying listen, to keep up listen well if you don't let me finish we're not gonna finish there okay. is such a thing called bonus time okay well we don't want to make anybody stay too long if they don't want to okay so all right we're moving it all right i'd still like to thank the 16 people that are remaining with us throughout this entire thing there's one who kind of bops in and out. So sometimes seven times 17, sometimes 15. We don't know. They don't need to know that. <laughs> Wait, they can all see it, Jeff. It's not a secret. No, they can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are killing me dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Justin's here. He's coming. <laughs> Jerry Lee. I will read the comments for Jerry Lee takes a minute. Tell one thing when you're wanting to get into another stream of income and you may not know how to pursue it, surround yourself with people that have knowledge of what you want to get into. I couldn't have done the 3D Puff Pro without the help of Jeff. Jerry Lee, ask for your help. You don't have to do it all yourself. And... <laughs> Matt is still stuck on wood. I think that you still need to read that before before me and you get off. You're going to read that, I'm sure. Um, and I can Chris do it. here says embroidery oh, yes. car parts is a huge seller, especially headrests. Yes, yes, I actually yes, know yes. the um, if you, <laughs> if you haven't yet, reach out to a local upholstery shop to you because yep. when they send you the stuff, it's usually marked already for you where they want yes. the design and you just throw it on the machine yes. and I did uh, you hit the two buttons and money comes out. I did a motorcycle seat actually that was, um, okay, no, um, I was approached by a, 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 a motorcycle maker in Oregon to embroider the seat and it was given- Were those the ones that had a TV show and they threw stuff up from it at each other? No. These people, like it was like for a rodeo. It was like for a really major rodeo sponsored by Budweiser. And so- I'm anyway, sorry, but they don't give us advertising credits. We can't say their name. I'm going to bleep that out later. Credit. The point being is they gave that flipping- I, <laughs> She, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> we, I, by him- has a license agreement with Shelby America to do their headrest. That's oh. awesome. And Amy says, I just made it high. And Hi, Sheila Chuck says, Chuck. Matt is stuck on woodchuck. Chuck, Chuck. Okay, so here's here's the thing is that when the, Chris has brought something up really good, he's talking about embroidering something on a headrest. He had an agreement with the manufacturer. He was the one and only. That means he has steady clients. You know what I'm saying? If you want it, he's the only guy. Okay. I didn't actually. That one I didn't do. They're going <laughs> to beat us up in Fort Worth. We're oh coming now. You're killing me dead. Uh, Candace, thanks for the last night. Jerry Lee, you're so stinking funny. This is my real life. I, I am of high, high uh, energy. Eric <laughs> says, also realize that if you have a strength in selling, another yes. stream of income can come from being a broker. Yes. You will benefit with the other providers. Yes. 
So what I want to say here in the biggest way possible is community, 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 because it goes back to what Justin said. It goes to what Eric is saying. Okay. You, you have to take the foam off. Yeah. You, you have to take the foam. what they, yeah. That yeah. made me smile, Liddy. That just, yep. All right. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Have, I, I'm, yep. You got the 3D Puff Pro. I know I wrapped it, sent it. I know. Okay. So anyway, there's lots of ways. So you see already. <laughs> You see how ready, how, how we have like gone to where different things you can do. Eric is right. Develop your dream team. You that's have to click actually, on it. That's actually kind of what's happening. But you it's, have to click on it, Jerry Lee. You have to click on oh. it. There you go. And now you can say, and Eric says, develop your. <laughs> no, I don't have to. You All do. Right. You have to read it. But what if people are listening and not watching versus people that are watching and not listening? Ow. So my point being, his point being, all of our point being, is that it is basically, you do want your dream team. You, It is about community. And let me tell you, people, it is about who you know. I'm going to tell you straight up, it most certainly is. Don't think it isn't. All right. So now we are going to leave embroidery. So sorry, but we're exiting out into the woods again somewhere else. But one of the things I did want to go back to just for a second. Yes. Oh, he's dying to say something. No, I'm just hiding product branding. <laughs> so basically we are going to go to this because I did want to. Hey, where did you print that? Listen to me now. Stop. I, I, I have one of those, but mine is, is blue and white and not, no, it's blue and black. Yeah, but it is it is it this brand? I don't know what brand is that one. This is a oh, this one does stone and press uh, glass engraving machine, CO two laser engraver, n hard non metal engraving. Um, this is a it's brandless. Oh, I just can't read that. LT twelve ninety. Oh, let's see. Oh, a lint CNC router and laser machine store. Is, is the name of the store. <laughs> anyway. Hi, Suzanne. Oh, my girl. Hi. <laughs> we just were talking about Rhode Island an hour back. But anyway, so this is another way you can multi-stream your income. All right. Because now you have something that somebody in your area might not. Maybe they do. But what is the point? The point is, is if you're good at what you're doing, you can beat the pants off of anybody. I'd say 60 to 100. The the 100 watts, they tend to have a little extension that goes out the side at that size. I, I So for all of the people that, that may or may not be in the comments, when I bought my laser, I did a lot of research. And yeah, by a lot, I mean like mind-numbingly a lot. And so... And you, you, didn't pay, you didn't pay $3,120. No, I was slightly <laughs> under that by just a little bit. So... <laughs> Fred says that we need more beer and <laughs> Michelle says, I want an epilogue laser. And Martin says, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> which means exactly beer time. Exactly. So and he Candace was says my laser and I have a bad <laughs> relationship. It's a wimpy little dude and everyone in their dog has one in my area. Okay. So now what happens when everybody in their dog has one in your area, you go online so you need to upgrade your printer. That's where the research comes in. All right. That's a, that's a laser. It's not a printer. Well, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? You've got to, if everybody has whatever it is in your area, then go outside your area or become the best in your area or look at it. Etsy. The fact that, hmm? Etsy. Etsy. Yes. Etsy is big. I have an Etsy store. Okay? Become the, the best on you, Etsy. Yes. 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 You guys are totally able to do these things you run frank is the laser guy <clears throat> yeah he does he's got a really cool thing over his bar in england too all right so now what have i not seen the cool thing over his bar you didn't get shown his picture i guess you haven't been in his house have you michelle oh. says i engrave a lot for the schools and university um there's there a lot go. to go here and yeah. Suzanne says, nobody okay. is doing laser in my area. It yeah. sounds like you should get a laser. You should get a laser. They're cheap. I mean, like, like, okay. So like 
what two two thousand dollars right you pay I'm, i mean if you want to go look at a trotec laser cheap does not even become do not get a glowforge just don't <laughs> apparently yeah. gary lee's been researching uh laser i have laser. researched a lot don't get a glowforge they're they're expensive and you don't want it Epilog is made here i think it is they're very spendy they're also top of the line okay and they have great support so um, oh, CNC Miller plasma cutters. Okay, see, now we're getting into more of what can we do to grow our income. There may be many owners of lasers, but it takes a good designer to pull out a good looking product. Yes, and that's the same with our embroidery. It goes to anything that we have, okay? We are so, lasering the beer. You can, your, your beer can, you can do it. I've seen, I've seen pictures of people lasered their arms. I don't know why. The embroidery nerd does not endorse lasering your arms. Please do oh, not God, do so no. with the no, advice no, no. of Gary Lee. I, that's why my face is like, why? Why? <laughs> okay, so now. Matt says, it's an invest investment. Spend 3000 in one year, bring in 23000 Yeah, and it, it yep. really comes down to, you know, research out your market before you jump into it. Research yep. out the equipment before you jump into it. And always look for ways to add on to what your shop can do yes. so that you're not completely relying on one thing. Um, you know, Absolutely. baseball hats in this, in the spring are big for baseball, local baseball teams. Uh, the, you can get a laser and you can laser water uh, tumblers. You can laser water bottles for winter sports. It just, you, you look at where there may be a need and you dive in there. Yes, and that's always how it is. Okay, you always. Suzanne is looking into it, yeah. and Fred tells Suzanne to lay, ask her if she yes. wants to laser the beer. I believe that. Yeah. Uh, and you want to remember to write off that three thousand dollar machine for taxes yeah. always. Always. And laser. <laughs> so that's another way that you can bring in income. Now you want to notice that that one that I showed on the paper says that it's stone and that it does stone. Not all of them do that. Okay. So like you can do pet gravestones. Okay. Pet things like that. Now I do want to go right on back to. There is it. Now you have to remember there are specialty equipment for stuff like that. There yeah. is actually a company that makes a laser that you can do sidewalks as well as gravestones. And you move the laser on top of the gravestone and do it there or on top of the um the sidewalk and i will just go ahead and call Ooh. it down Gary Lee, you're officially three minutes and 47 seconds into bonus time well we're into bonus it's so. not real bonus time unless if it's 15 minutes after though so well, i'm not uh, letty it, says the embroidery nerd laser tattoo available at booth 32 <laughs> the fort worth dax show no come for the show bring home a memory I, oh we're gonna be definitely doing with that. marketing like that she's probably a millionaire <laughs> um, Suzanne, you drink the wine and I'll join you with a beer. There you go. And Matthew L. Enderly, I do that every time I talk about my laser. And I'm just going to come back here because this is really good. You should write my ads for me, please, because that's a lot better than anything I came out with. You guys are, um, funny. You guys are funny. Well, here and, I go. And uh, Matthew, I do that every time I talk about my laser. Eric, at least Ooh, it's not the thread gosh. tattoo. <laughs> that one is less attractive. You know, most people only get one stitch into the thread tattoo and then they're ready to go to the hospital. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, they don't want to do that one again. Uh, Suzanne, I want to go to the show so bad. We Yeah, we wish you could too. Uh, we will be there. Um, we'll, we'll do a live from the show too. I'll go on live. <laughs> All that. right, we're not measuring lasers. Oh, oh we've gone into that. <laughs> TMI. Back this truck up. Pump the brakes. Okay, it's not Pull true. Out the seam it's ripper. Just a picture. Okay, so. <laughs> Did you get that? Oh, no. <laughs> so, now, with the laser, what I want to tell you is the other thing, which is my donut. Okay? This is my donut. I have one of those, too. It's right. Yes, you do. There. Now, Jeff didn't do this one. But um, this other chick, like somebody else did. She's not going to be doing that anymore. This uh, other individual did it. <laughs> yes, out here. And But anyway, because it's supposed to be the donut on one side. But anyway, these are lasered. And I get these done a lot. Like my last order of donuts was 1,000 pieces. Okay? 1,000 pieces. 
That means I need 1,000 of these lasered. You know what else I looked into getting lasered? My needleies. And so here's another way to, okay, for me, this is another piece of income, multi-streaming my income, okay? So now he, now here, like with the needleies, these are engraved, but I did- Wait, I don't have purple. You didn't ask for it. This is Mary Berry, baby. <laughs> you didn't ask for that. Okay. Oh, Hold yeah, on. no, we do have caddies too. Okay, I know, he's a very smart cookie. Yes, and we're getting, we're trying to get there. <laughs> we we got like, at least it's not the threat. Okay, we got that one. And then Suzanne, yep, and we're skipping over that one. Uh, nope, we're skipping over that one. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Kathleen, no, Laser, no, no. Envy, uh, Eric's, I'll yeah. see folks in class in Texas. I'm pretty excited to, to meet you in Texas again. I got the opportunity at Dax in uh, Kansas City, yeah. I think it was a year ago. I don't remember. All it, it's it's all the last couple of years. Has we been. don't know that. Uh, Suzanne, Jerry Lee, you have everybody looking into getting to uh, campers. Oh, uh, Letty, love the donut. Donut, handy thing. Sure Martin, is. Obviously, we have gone to the gutter bonus round. Absolutely. <laughs> OG uh, green, yeah. Suzanne, I have OG green. You know, it's interesting because the OG OG one is like a hexagon shape. Yes, thing. with red. With red. I so have one of all of them. Sheila, I just got my Trotec. My shop is getting smaller and smaller, but it's nice. purpose to work alongside my sandblaster. I hear Trotecs yeah, are really, blaster. really fast. Um, oh, that's Suzanne, right. Suzanne, I actually won it here in a raffle. Awesome. That's true on Embroidery Nerd last year, a year ago. And for Fred says for Manassa, we had the good lasers, Ooh. like the ones that aim things, and good campers. Here's to good campers. So <laughs> here's what I want to tell you about good campers and good products to sell is this one and this one were invented and then made, right? Okay. So wait, did you color coordinate? No. Oh. No, I'm not trying to. <laughs> no. Okay, those were invented and then made. Okay, this one I bought from the inventor. Okay, I if this guy, this I'm guy, I'm pretty sure he invented it and made it too. He, he did, <laughs> but then he bought then he sold me the uh the patent because he's 87 or 88 now. Okay, and he couldn't get it to market for 15 years. So, but you he, know what? He's a smart guy because he sold it to somebody that's 29. That thing will be around forever. <laughs> And it will too. And here's the thing is what he did is he's a smart guy. He sold it to somebody who could get it to market. Now I pay a royalty. Okay. Oh, they do match. <laughs> you have to click on it and say the needle is in your glasses match. So yeah. that way people that are not watching. Oh, they I'm know sorry. What you're, I, about. you're the clicker, man. I'm just the, I'm just me. Okay. So now, and so, this is another product. For that all I the 17 people that have been watching and we've gone nine minutes Thank in the boat this time, we appreciate you hanging out with us today. Clock, clock watcher. Here's the next one. Here's another product. Hook wash. Okay. This is trademarked. If you invent something like this or this or this, patent it or patent it. If you come up with the name, trade market that's what the tm stands for there's only one babies okay only one hip wash there's another pr place out there that has appropriated the term the term is my trademark company name you want to protect yourself this this is patented and, tr and being trademarked 3d puff pro trademark patent pending <clears throat> okay all right patent uh patent pen patented trademarked the name okay all of that same 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 you've got to protect yourself all right you've got to got to do it now we're going to move on to other things the next one jerry lee we have a product question for you no <laughs> martin would like to know if you can drink hook wash. read the label <laughs> please don't make me have to like take you to go get your stomach pumped <laughs> okay all right now we're going to talk about 3d printing because that's what matthew did in fact, I don't have, do I have a caddy laying around here? P could you please show a caddy or two? Okay. And so see, have, mine is like invisible. Yeah, but you printed that. Okay. So what happened was, is I sent Matthew a donut. Okay. And what happened was the first thing he thought of was, yo, this thing needs a holder. So then he asked me, do you like surprises? And, you know, to me, it's like, well, let's, let's figure that out. We don't know. 
So basically that caddy was the, the surprise and he gifted me the file. I own that file, so does Matthew. And so then, um, then what we got was, the next one was, um, he made one for the donut and the needleys also so that they can sit there and be there on the machine, all right? So that was really cool too. So I have that also, but now, <laughs> <laughs> so matt comes in here my survival school instructor said that you can eat or drink anything at least once so that is not yeah. official advice yeah don't do it so so what happened was when when matthew sent me that initial donut caddy i turned it and turned it in my hands i couldn't figure out what it was all right I have three. And then you bought <laughs> three, three, three. I have three, three 3D printers. First, See, you I need the first two one. because your hand looks awkward like this. You need two more. I do. I know. I have two hands, so that's going to be a lot. So <laughs> I had so much fun printing them that I, I mean, the, the first I was just like so intrigued and people wanted them. And he didn't have time to do them, Matthew, nor did he have the interest. That's why he gifted me the file. So I had to go find a 3D printer or become that person. So I became that person. I bought a 3D printer. 3D printers are not expensive, all right? What's expensive is the time. They're not quick. Don't expect it. If you want instant gratification, don't 3D print. So Martin says, Fred, I like your style, dude. So I think it's official that Fred and Martin need to both show up at Fort Worth. Oh, I'm sure that they're going to. I've already gotten notice they're going to, they said. So... <laughs> Not really. So basically, because of the 3D printing, I had fun printing caddies, but then I wanted to have more fun. So Jeff sent me some cool files, and then I got kind of every going every which way. So now I do screws. Okay. I do a whole lot of things. All right. I this here, it, Jeff kind of turned me on to, to these little doohicks, and I do use these in my business. I actually do. This they one, are storage containers. They're storage containers. So this, I like to have a darker end on this one. I don't know where the other end is, but they come off. And what I had in here earlier was my Phillips bits. All right. I mean, excuse no, me, not that my hex. I was going to say Phillips. That's the wrong one. Yeah. You got to print hex. the whole other hex. file for hex. that. Exactly. So I had my hex bits in here and then I, and, and like this, this is the end of it. Now, what I like to do, and let me see if any of these is like that. Yes, on this one, I printed a different color end. The reason is, is because they're really flat. So on this product, because it's like this, when you get older, if you don't know, if you haven't experienced it, and it might not be true for all people, but it's true for me. I don't um, know, Jerry Lee, you're still 29. <laughs> still, um, the pads, the, the um, prints on my fingers, the lines, have worn down a lot, all right, a lot. I am a massage therapist, and when they fingerprinted me, they um, they uh, had to fingerprint me twice because they couldn't get it, and they thought it was going to come back from the cop shop saying no. And I said, well, what are you going to do? Like, I'm qualified. And they said, well, you know, we'll just put it through if it doesn't work the second from time. All those years of burning them off. I, I know, huh? All those times, all those years. But my point being is when you don't have the pads, you need a little more grip. And so these things, they're tight. So I try not to get one. And I'll show you, these things are so freaking cool. So, but I try, so I try to get one that's a different color so I can really press on it. Okay, put some pressure. All right, so. Jerry Lee. Yes? Next, you 3D, you 3D print the Avalon. Next, you that one. It's oh, well, you know what I'd like to, but then it turns. It's got to fit. It's got to fit in the bolt. It got. It does. If you're, good, if you're 3D printing an Allen wrench, it's got to fit in the bolt. I'd like to. I can get Allen wrenches in here, though. And so then, the and then a, like a regular wrench for the nut. And um, do, then you'll have to 3D print, 3D print something to bolt together. Okay. So what I want to show you here is, again, these are sellers, except I need to really look at the copyright on these to make sure I can. Right now, I just gift them because they're very, very, very popular. Okay, these keep my printers busy. But this also, and I'm showing you this for a reason, when you are creating something, you have to think of all the points about it. This, again, has a top on it, but 
it's hard for me to, there we go, because it's flush and it's a real PIA. I can get it off, but I'm just not gonna play with it. There's another pattern that has the top that screws off. This is so much easier. So you want to think about who's gonna use your products, okay? This also is a storage unit, okay? Your uh, dental hygienist, you barely have fingerprints, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, it helps if you click on it. Yep. Okay, so <laughs> and Letty says, you need an Allen wrench that has a bungee cord that hooks to your machine so you can find it. There you go. There you go. So these do screw on here. And what I do is I put them, like, I try to put different colors on the bottoms. But I also like these kind that, are sh that I, um, yes, you can th 3D print your printers. <laughs> So, but I like to put them so that I can actually use them. I actually use these in my shop. So this is something that I can sell. I don't, but I'm gonna be looking at the copyright for something else. Here's something else. I mean, there's just so many different things that you can do. These are also a real big hit. It's a skull. It is a pencil holder that I enlarged and people, can I mean this is a big hit? I don't know why. People like it. Ninety nine percent sure. Matt sent you a file. He did not. I found it on what you For call this it. one or hooks in with the needle ease and donut holder somehow. Oh, well, we're going to work on that because I need to learn Tinker Cat. I can't. I can't make Matthew do any more. <laughs> I tried. Okay, so three D printers, like I said. They're inexpensive. I do want a, a more expensive one someday that will work better. And like, here's another. <clears throat> okay, now, so Letty is getting a, 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 some of these because she won a, um, a mystery box. And so there's gonna be a, at least a one, one set in there. And I did send one to Suzanne. And here's Look, one- you have to click on it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Suzanne says, I love the screw you sent to me. Now this- Chris says you like printing large stuff. I do actually, it's a lot of fun. And I and like- Matthew L. Enderly has left the chat. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But not really, right. he's still there. Don't so, worry folks, he's still there. This one is for my set screws that go in the donuts and they're stored in here. So today I had to put some in when I was doing that. And I used this little doohickey. And they were in this little cap. Oops. You should 3D print a funnel. I should. Actually, I did. But, and I should. Another. But, shoot, there goes one now. Oh, well. But the other thing is, is that I had so many. Sorry, everybody. Jerry Lee's uh, lost her screws. I have. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. I've lost three, four, five screws. Okay. Those are how much since each? I know Next how up. Okay. So the next Mars. one. Okay. Where do I store the storage container? On In my workshop. Fred yep. asks, where do you store the storage in container? In my workshop. Now, Letty says, I am looking forward to that. So excited. Well, there's something printing right now that I'm watching print that I am really stoked to um, give you. And printing, printing is like embroidery. If you leave the machine alone. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Now, there's times, and I don't have really bad examples, but there's times when you come back and it's what they call spaghetti. Your print doesn't turn out well. All right. This is not for the faint of heart. If you want instant gratification, if you want to be happy all the time, and this is gonna, and you think this is gonna do that, don't do it. <laughs> all right. Buy ice cream it's instead. Right. That's right. Buy ice cream. Okay. Or so, Rolos. That's right. So I just have a couple more things I want to explain, and then and then we're gonna call her good. I really do appreciate you guys are so freaking awesome. Okay. So oh yes, there is. Okay, there is a three D printer for concrete houses. In fact. I want to show you this, which I found today. Okay. Mine says, my 3D printer <laughs> taught me to drink. Yes, See, it will. You always learn something from oh, a piece that. of equipment. That's then right. I keep a donut and caddy next to my hat and hooping station with a Phillips. Yes. Okay, Jerry, I'm ready for your picture. Next time okay. we'll do screen share. Okay, so what this one is, is this is actually a food 3D printer that there, that is coming out. higher. Yep. It's, well, I want to, oh, well, okay, we'll do it that way. What this thing is, is a food 3D printer, and it's to uh, to cut down on food waste, all right? So it's for professional use. They're, of course, not yet made, but I want to show you this, all right? Fred and, asks, do you have a storage container for the storage containers? Yes, I do. 
It's okay. Tupperware tote. <laughs> Actually, it's something different. Much better. Oh, tup Tupperware 3D printed. Tote. Okay, so check this. These are, this is a dessert. Can you imagine just making this? Now, I wouldn't want to have to clean one of these 3D printers. I can see that there could be issues, all right? This one is going on the top of a cake, all right? This one is just like something, somebody could bring something in and you could 3D print that. You can also do it out of plastic and lay it on the cake. Just saying. Just so you know, you do need a specialized printer to 3D yes. print food. Yeah. Not all 3D printers will print food. I don't know one yet. I mean, you could eat it, but yes. You know, like Matt said, you can eat or drink anything once. That's right. Now here's one um, that they 3D printed is some kind of a thing to put food in and flowers in or whatnots to make it pretty for a food presentation. No, thank you. All right. Now, another thing, 3D printers aren't only just for, for those types of things. Um, a couple weeks ago, I posted something in the Nerd about a dad who 3D prints his daughter's souls, okay? Um, and I don't mean this kind. Um, and no, we can't do that. But yes. this, yes, and we this can. is... No, we just can't. an Armenta action figure coming soon. That's right. Oh, and you know what? You're going to make it and, and paint it. So this is not the soul that the dad printed, but the point is, is that 3D printers are also for, you know, some really serious things. This little girl um, that the dad prints her, the soles of her shoes for, she has one leg shorter than the other. And what happens is, is that the orthopedic shoes are really ugly. She's a kid. And so she gets bullied, you know, so it's not good. So the dad figured out how to print the soles of shoes. And so they go out and get regular shoes and he prints a sole on the bottom. I mean, puts a sole on the bottom of that. All right. So, yep. yep. And, okay. and Matt says that he will 3D print a Justin Armento action figure for $5, one hour. Goodest results. Well, we saw it here first. Chris asks, how durable is the plastic after printing? It depends. That, that would depend on the plastic that you're yep. printing with. There are yep. different plastics for different purposes. Ah, say that five times fast. Um, so most common is PLA, which is like not food safe, but then they have food safe plastics. And this yeah. is PLA. So, and Suzanne says, yes, that was amazing. As a mom of two kids with special needs, that is something I would have done. Yep. Absolutely. And Justin says he puts his soul into his shoes. Oh, he does. Oh, you're so funny. Okay. Yes. Says, Depends on, it's either soft or hard as a hot pocket. <laughs> well, the other thing is too, is that this is what I've noticed. This is called silk. And this is the type of, uh, it's like, you know, you can get the dull stuff that looks like the old poly that we run, used to run on machines, right? Justin, more than meets the eye, just an action figure in disguise. <laughs> and Letty says with one hour turnaround. That's you right. know, the, the comment section today is on it's fire. Right. It's on fire. So this kind of stuff, the shiny stuff, is like what rayon used to be to our industry because it breaks really fast, all right? It breaks fast. Now, um, I have um, dull colors. It's like the poly. They're very hard, <laughs> extremely hard. But anything like this I have found can break much easier, all right? So now we're gonna move on. And I'm, I'm glad that, let's see, you love this color. I do too. I do You too. clicked on it, I'm so proud. I am. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so now a couple other things, and then we're out for the evening. But what I want to tell you is, um, for the, and then we're going to go way outside of embroidery in a minute. But what I want to show you is something that is somebody is not going to be expecting to see over here. Oh, I have a feeling I'm expecting to see it. Yeah, okay, good. I, I already saw you prep all your materials before the show. Oh, yeah, you did, you stinker. Okay, well, I don't know where that one is. Okay. Martin Campbell says, bonus, bonus round now with more alcohol. Well, yeah. I added that part. Okay, so this. And Matt, go for two hours, then it's a webinar. And <laughs> yep. So officially, if we go two hours, Matt's going to start charging everybody. It's almost coffee. over. It's almost over. So last year, Jeff was, um, do, he he does a lot of, hi, baby, um, the dog. Um, Jeff. Does, <laughs> I mean, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, okay. No, Freestanding lace. And so he sent me some beautiful items that were freestanding lace. This one 
is you can tell the story behind this, Jeff. It's three freestanding lakes. What is it from? It is actually, so that is from a crochet pattern. Um, you know, like the knit one, curl yeah, one. Where was it from? Curls. You got like a, from, uh, from a, um, a Polish magazine from the, I think, 80s. And Fred, we can, you know what, here, wait, let's take care of this. We are, we are an embroidery group. Is this entertainment free? Yes, it is. You How should far? know that I have an actual embroidery design. Oh, actually ask your question. Ask your question. We're not going to wait. What's your and question? And then Martin says, is this entertainment free? Apparently okay. not if we hit two hours. <laughs> then we'll start going into PBS mode. Okay. While Fred types his question, I'm going to keep rolling. So the point is these are freestanding lace. All right. This is like an ornament. All right. To me, these are angel wings. All right. Here's another one. Those were right. angel wings. That they one is angel. less than angel wings. Okay. But these are so cute. And I have some earrings and stuff too that I can't just find right now. The point is, what am I going to do with these? They're definitely not on your ears. Not yet. They will be though. But I want to show you something else that I do. Also, while we still have 19 people, everyone, next week, Jeff will be on his way to my place to drive down to ISS. Yeah, do no so show. no show. Do Jerry no show. Lee will okay. also be on her way to ISS. Okay. And Justin mm -hmm. Armenta will be, um, I don't know what Justin's doing, probably on his way to the show. So right. there will not be a right. Thursday Night Live due to pending trade show. Yeah. And then the following live, we will be back with all sorts of goodies from the trade show. Oh, so, you know it. Yep. So basically, I have a whole bunch of beads. These are a little bit larger, but you can take and you can embellish other things. Like here's a string of amber for something that's really light. Amber is a natural product and it's very, very light. Okay. So hold and on. Candace says she has a fun F2020 freestanding lace ornament and did not sell. I would be interested in that, uh, just so we know. And Frank asks, I have a three inch round design that turns into a taco shell after washed. Is that the two oh. beers? So I forgot. Oh, uh, well, it was too dense. Likely. Usually when it does that, it's, it's typically a little too dense. Um, yeah. you can yeah. kind of try to like use a fusible stabilizer on the back of it, like a cover stitch and iron it out. But a lot of times that's done because it's too too dense and or you have two fills that work from the outside moving in um and matt says you can use watercolor paint to colorize them that's the poor yep. man's color eel yep <laughs> and chris asked quick question about embroidery how good are the poly neon threads do they hold up long lasting or no yes. uh from my experience they rayon will um fade Yes. In the sun and polyester doesn't. Polyester thread is actually used in a lot of very harsh, uh, harshly used equipment. So in my experiments, they hold up and are fairly long lasting, typically longer than rayon. Well, they um, are. They're also UV uh, resistant. A lot of people use them on, on uh, car bras and different things like that. And also for hats, fishermen and stuff like that. And they also use um, and for not poly neon specifically. But did they, did they use it on the back of a trailer? Um, I'm not sure what the heck that was. They drilled a hole in the back of my trailer. But they and also Justin also up. says, add a little cheese, salsa and shredded cheese when this happens. That's happening next week. But they also use they also use um, poly thread on um, and poly neon or whatever, but on um, the coats of chefs because uh, our meat cutters and butchers because of the blood that gets on the coats, they can bleach them and that thread won't won't run. Okay, so for the last thing I want to share with you, this is way out there, but you need to understand that when you're trying to save your business, you need to be able to do what you need to do to get it saved, all right? So one, if you're, you need to be industrious, you already are, you wouldn't be self-employed, <clears throat> all right? So we don't do this because um, we don't have anything to do. Okay. Suzanne says, I love rayon, but I am slowly switching to poly neon, but the colors are so much better in rayon. Yeah. I would tell you. And that's why the people love the rayon. And that's why the poly neon actually came out. But then the matte finish and all that came out. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk to you about is like I did talk to you just a little bit about going out in the woods. And like to like you could go cut those rounds. I mean, like, and I'm serious too. 
So the last thing I want to show you is another thing that I do. And, and oh, another thing that I did during the, the big crisis of the pandemic is I sewed masks and that kept my business afloat for a while. But the other thing that I do is I go Terry Lee is my if I need to move a body friend. There we go. Okay, I go out to the woods and I forage this. It's free. Okay, this is called usnia. This is seven ounces of dried usnia. Okay, and this grows on really old growth trees and it's very, very, very medicinal. So I do know a lot of stuff about what is available out in the woods. And so those things are what I go for to multi-stream my income. People in other climates that don't have the same climate I do or other places where this grows can't get usnia. They cannot get it. So I can sell it on Etsy. Now I'm going to clean it. This has this, this actually, my neighbor last winter brought home a whole bunch of wood. I didn't have to go out and hunt for usnia. It dries in, it's in um, old growth, but I didn't have to go look for it because my neighbor brought home a bunch of wood and it was covered with it. So what you do, people want this dry. You can sell this back east for, and it, it sells for a lot of money per ounce. That right there was seven ounces. What do you do with that? You put it in 90 proof or 100 proof alcohol. And which, you know, if you don't drink alcohol, that is going to be an issue. And this is pretty strong stuff. But it's an herb that a lot of people use. Okay. So, and you can also go out and like right now, elderberries are falling everywhere. So, and those are free. This is what I'm saying. There's things that you don't know how many skills that you have and how many people will pay for your skills until you honestly really start to figure it out. When the chips are down, don't tap out. Reach out to your community, reach out to your fellow embroiderers. If you can't think of something, reach out, you know, people will help. All right. So I've just given you a whole bunch. We've had too much fun. <laughs> if that's possible. Thank you so much. We're, we're like an hour 33 and I just love you guys. So thank you. Um, we're going to be doing fun stuff down at the show. And I, for sure, I will post live from the floor. It's going to be crazy. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> so Hi. for those of you just joining us, we will be at <laughs> ISS Fort Worth. Um, that yeah. will be coming up here, not this weekend, but the next weekend after that, we will all be there. We may or may not have stuff to give out. Um, and generally, when I uh, I say may or may not, that, that leans on the, the may side. Um, we do. But we are very excited for that. Definitely make sure you come and try yeah, and find us. Really excited. Uh, Jerry Lee, do you have any announcements? I, I think you were wrapping up there. Okay, well, we're pretty done. Just know that, um, okay, so, all right, on Saturday, here's the deal. We are having a nerd gathering. We're going to figure out where it's going to be. We will make sure that you know um, Ramona is going to be down there. She'll be down there Thursday, and she's going to scout for somewhere that's close by the venue that after the show on Saturday, we can all go. In the past, these ISS shows have been having like a big blowout, like one manufacturer, like Sanmar or whoever, like somebody, you know, Gildan, whatever, like puts on a big show and like food and all sorts. Well, that's not happening, okay? So what we're doing is since, since because that always takes out Saturday on all uh, on these shows because of all that. Well, that's not happening. So what we're doing is for the embroidery nerds, we're going to find a venue, we're going to announce it, and we're all going to go meet somewhere that's within walking distance or whatever of the show. Um, and that will be right after the show. But we'll keep it posted. We'll make sure there's room for everybody. So for everybody to know also, if you watch uh, and or join our Discord server, there is a thread where we are actively chatting about this kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. if you want to join our Discord server, Matt is going to go ahead and drop the link to that in the comments because I just said it and so now he has to do it. Um, because if he doesn't, it'll make me look Bossy. bad. We don't want to make me look bad. Um, a source for online, I believe it's impressionsexpo.com mm -hmm. is where you're going to find the Fort Worth or if you Google Fort Worth Impressions Expo. You can also keep an eye out in the group. I do my best uh, to try and announce all the trade shows that are coming up. There is one, uh, there's, I believe it's Embroidery Everything Market coming up here that's going to be in Biloxi. And then there's another trade show that I think it's going to be in November that's coming up in uh, North Carolina. There we go. I got it. There we go. And so okay. Matt went ahead and threw in the uh, Discord channel there. So if you guys want to go ahead and join that, 
you can join in all the fun. We're over there um, giving each other a hard time almost constantly. So. Yep. Yep. So, so, um, and you know what, Candace, we, we, we wish you could go too. And so that's, that's part of this, why I'm talking to everybody tonight also about multi-streaming is so that that day job might, if you're working for someone else, maybe you won't always have to. That's my point also. So, but we're going to have a good time. We'll do some stuff. You guys are so awesome. Um, thank you so much for being here. It's been really fun. Thanks for coming tonight, Jeff. <laughs> All right, everybody. So now I'm going to show Jerry Lee how you stop this thing. Okay. Um, and with that, I'm everybody, we'd like to thank you for hanging out with us. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Uh, again, join our Discord uh, channel if you would like to chat with us more. And also join the Embroidery Nerd group. Make sure that if you do request to join the group, that you answer all the questions. If you don't answer all the questions, then you're pretty much going to get denied from the group. And then you'll have to re-request and you'll have to answer the questions. So it's best to do it the first time. Martin here That's says, this has been a fun show. All kidding aside, Jerry Lee, you had some great ideas. Only when I could squeeze them in. Yep, I'm I'm a little loud sometimes. And Fred says good night all. And with that, everybody, I am Jeff Fuller with Fuller Embroidery Works. I'm that Jerry is Medeiros. Jerry Lee Medeiros with, with Sunfacer Medeiros. Manufacturing. Yeah, that too. I, I'm I'm with this. All of, all the things. And we're all here with the Embroidery Nerd, and we'd like to thank you guys right. for hanging out with us and yeah. make sure that you have a great night. All right, this record.